Hello guys, today I will be showing you, uh, well, how nuclear reactors work using the uh, Minecraft mod called Atomic Science. So, yep, let's get started. So, uh, the first things you're going to need, you're obviously going to need, well, the dealing with radioactive materials. So you're going to need a hazmat suit. With that, I'll get some cabling for hooking other things up and an awesome wrench of awesomeness just for hooking the cable. So, and yeah. Hazmat suit also looks pretty cool, but yeah. So, I guess we should get started off with the fission reactor. Um, this is the, basically just the reactor like we use uh, in nuclear reactors today. And it, it works by the splitting of atoms inside of here. And it generates heat, which the termites then turn into, or it generates the heat, which boils the water, which turns into steam, which makes the turbine spin, which produces power. It goes into here. Which is a redstone energy cell, is just a battery, by the way. So, uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to take this off for a second. But if you, uh, yeah, these are fissile fuel rods. These are just uranium fuel rods. I'm not going to go into details of how to make them. But if you have these in your hand when uh, you don't have a hazmat suit, you get radiation poisoning. And it's very bad stuff, right? So, yeah. It's apparently not poisoning me, but it, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> um, but I'm on peaceful mode, so it doesn't kill me, so. But anyways, uh, but the, there's a major problem with these, uh, come on, hurry up with these uh, fission reactors, and that's that they have a chance of exploding. Actually, that's probably very high. Unless you keep the heat regulated very well, uh, they will explode. So you have to keep these things in, which are called well, control rods right here. Uh, and these keep the heat down in the reactor. But if the reactor heat heats, well, currently in Minecraft, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is in real life, but in Minecraft it needs like 727 degrees Celsius before the reactor explodes. And way down there, I'm going to be doing a test of that later on. Okay, so, uh, uh, I almost forgot to put my hazmat suit back on. Yeah, hazmat suit! Da, da, da. But, yes, yeah, so let's take one of these. And this is completely empty, this energy cell. So, if we put this in here, we'll see. It's, it starts to generate toxic waste also. That's another downside to the fission reactor, is that it generates toxic waste. But as the temperature rises here, once it gets above 100 C, these turbines will start spinning, and this will start getting power. And the faster the, the whoops, I just took the heat the thing out. But the the uh, more this runs, uh, the faster the turbines will spin because it gets hotter, obviously, and the more power it will generate. So it'll currently take a little while to generate, but you have to watch out because I'm already at 200 degrees. And remember, once it reaches 700 degrees, the reactor will melt down and. Leave you with a mess, so yeah. But there's basically no way to cool it other than having like uh, things pushing and pulling these uh, control rods in and out as the temperature moves. And, wow, I just pulled that out again. <laughs> um, to uh, keep the temperature about at 600 degrees is about the right spot for this because uh, it's not going to overheat there and it generates a very good amount of heat. So. But yeah, this is just a very basic, basic um, fusion reactor here. It's generating a decent amount of power because this is an extremely large battery here. But I better uh, start taking this out here because this uh, is going to be And uh, if you can see here, this is taking some damage. Or the, well, shows like that. But it's, uh, the fuel rods don't last forever. You have to reuse them. Or you uh, have to get new ones. But, and there's a way you can do it with breeder reactors and all that, but again, I'm not going into that, so. And it's still generating a, a little more excess energy from the energy cell. So, um, now I think I'm going to test, nah, never mind, I'll do this first. So next over here is the fusion reactor, which is the power that scientists and all well, the people making the fusion reactors are trying to build today. Which is also the power source that's inside the sun. It's basically a ginormous fusion reactor. So, I'll be doing that. So, what's different about the fusion reactor here is that it uses solar panel, or, no, well, I'm, I'm using solar panels, it doesn't need it. But it, it requires power to start the process of the thing. So, yeah. And, uh, 
basically, it, yeah, so it uses power and it uses deuterium cells. That's what makes the, the reactor produce the plasma, which then, like, superheats the water, like, I think somewhere around 10,000 C. And then makes these fans go again. So I'm just going to hook up this. Oops. There, so yeah, we can do this. Make it a big turbine. So there's more. And there. So let's get rid of those for now. So yeah, so um, currently there's nothing inside. Uh, what or Actually, what keeps the plasma at that insanely high uh, temperature are these electromagnets. It's, uh, well, it won't show it, but there's... Um, electromagnets here and electromagnetic glass and the glass is just uh, well whatever is producing on the electromagnets themselves it, whatever is touching these gets burned by the plasma but whatever is next to the glass does not so if you're wait I th you know what I think it's the other way around I'm not 100% sure but anyways but w one of these two produces the heat and one of them doesn't but this is just so you can see if it's running so I'm just gonna take just five deuterium cells, plop it in here in the fusion reactor, and we should get, oh, okay, I have to, yep, I had to turn on the solar panel, but soon this should be generating uh, stuff, oh, oh, wow, I did not hook this up right, did I? Um, Okay then. I'll just use these solar panels instead. Um, well, I guess those solar panels for some reason didn't work, but I'll use this instead. This will work fine. And yeah, so there's plasma, the purple stuff, and then you hear the turbines running again. This is very loud with all those things. Okay, but so this is plasma in here. Not I'm standing on that glass, which is apparently not the case, but it's... That turbine's not working, but... Oh, no, it's... But the plasma is heating the water and producing steam, which you can't see. That would be cool if And then the turbines are producing... It's producing a lot more energy than this one. It's already produced that same amount as that one has in a very small amount of time. So it's like, what? I don't know. Uh, I can't remember the exact number, but it's a lot, lot more than fission reactors, and an advantage is that it never explodes, so you can run this all day long, whenever you please, and your house, or wherever you build this, will not be a giant explosive mess. Get back. So, now that we've covered those, um, I'm going to show you guys this uh, reactor here. This is the exact setup as it is over there, with the fission reactor, except this time, have my, have my, have my, yep, has my suit on. This one, I'm going to um, put the rod in here, and I'm going to let the reactor explode. <laughs> so you guys will see what a mess this creates. And I hope it doesn't destroy this over here, but next after that I'll show you just plasma and how terrifying plasma is in the world. Plasma, warning, very hot. And uh, that the numbers are just the ID of the thing. So. But, um... Yeah, so this is getting to 200 degrees. And I guess I might as well go check on the fusion reactor again, see how much that's generating. So, yeah, this box is already almost half full from like only five rods of deuterium. And it's not even less than, I mean, it's not even a quarter gone. So, because there were a thousand deuterium in there, or a thousand liters of it when I put it in. So, yeah. So yeah, the deuterium is really efficient, and it's also really cheap to make. Also, so. Okay, we're getting close to 500 degrees. I'm going to stand back once it reaches like 650, because, yeah, it creates a giant mess, so. Okay. 550. Yeah, it's only generally that much, yeah. These are pretty terrible. Might as well, like, save everything and just build a fusion reactor. Okay, 627, it's heating up even faster now. Heating, heating, heating. The turbines are spinning faster. And I'm talking about <laughs> 670, when it hits 695 or something. Okay then. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 okay. 
so uh, never mind. So that I was thinking that these don't work. Okay, okay, okay. So the control rod, two control rods keeps oops, the reactor running at 685 degrees C. But if I need to go ahead and destroy it, I'll destroy one of the. Uh, ah. If I destroy that, whoa, run! Uh, it will. Up. Oh, there goes it exploded. Um. Yeah, you get this mass here. It's it leaves radioactive materials, which step on it gives you radiation poisoning unless you have the hazmat suit. And it leaves a very big hole in the ground. So not the best thing to do. Not have two of those uh, things, but yeah. I actually was thinking that the reactor is bugged currently, but apparently the uh, the control t two control rods do work. So yeah, so it's more reliable than I thought it was in Minecraft, but. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so that's that, the explosion. And this, I should go into creative mode for, because I don't want to die from this. Because this will instantly kill you right over here. So, plasma. The electromagnets were were keeping the plasma inside of the reactor, but when it's not inside the reactor, this is what happens. There's plasma. It spreads, and it burns everything. Like, it catches me on fire. But then it just dissipates eventually, because it's all, you know... Whatever it is but yeah, that's that's almost as bad as the reactor exploding. So yeah, you don't want any holes in your fusion reactors unless you want that mess. So yeah, you can go with the plasma for now. Okay. So yeah, guys. So I think that'll be it for uh, this time with the atomic science and nuclear reactors. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later. Bye.